All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy, crazy video. Now, first off, shout out to uh, Freedom Frontline. All right, this is a YouTube channel that I just came across today. All right, and the video that he he was reacting to, I couldn't find the original clip, so we gonna react to him reacting to the video. That I don't know if that makes sense, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. But anyways, man, before we get to the video, this video right here, I'm gonna warn you. I'm gonna give you a little warning. It's gonna be it's gonna be some triggers. Okay, it's gonna be real like some triggers, and then not only that. It just be prepared for you to be pissed, okay? I'm just gonna be real. Yeah, you're gonna be pissed off, okay? This video is gonna piss you off, all right? But without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, but y'all gotta subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. It's like 80% of y'all not subscribe. Subscribe, bro. It's free, okay? Just subscribe. I promise you, go enjoy it here. Without further ado, man, let's get it. Let's go. This one proves how insane they are. It's no question that the modern far left is a lost cause in some senses, but some of them still manage to stoop to levels we could not have imagined before. After the failed assassination attempt on Trump, multiple Hollywood celebrities were quick to come out and express their sadness. Not because of their empathy, but with the former president. Instead, because the attempt wasn't successful, except it did end up killing a firefighter. Don't forget that. From accusations of the incident being staged to outright mockery, these people proved once again how they're detached from reality and showcase the extent of political division, or even the safety and life of a former president can become a subject of controversy rather than a moment of unified condemnation of violence. But before I delve deeper into it, watch the clip. That shit was more staged than a Tyler Perry production of Medea Runs for President. I lived in Harlem long enough to know that gunshots do not sound like making popcorn on the stove. Where'd the blood come from? So in theater, in movies, they have what's called blood pellets. You, they even, you know, a lot of people use them in Halloween. It's basically like a pellet of fake blood that's in your mouth. And when you crush it, the blood comes out. Um, to be frank, Small Hands Trump would not respond by raising his fists in the air triumphantly were an actual attempt made on his life. This was, I believe, done to try to show his strength counter to Biden's fragility. But um, bum Oh my God. Remember a firefighter died? Can she just pick an argument already? It's clear that Amanda hasn't done her research because the shooter tried to join the Bethel Park High School varsity rifle team with one of his classmates telling ABC News, quote, he shot terribly and wasn't really fit for the rifle team. So why would any sane person stage his own shooting by hiring a bad shot? It that, that is what I'm saying. That is what I'm saying. Look, 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 I, I am not uh a super like you know people are so into politics and they're politician and they they ride or die like i'm not a politician okay i'm just not okay that's just not why i am i know i do a lot of videos like that, but i'm not a politician but i'm here for the truth all right and i don't like people they they saying that donald trump staged this donald trump, bro any sane person would not stage something like this to getting shot and then the person that shot donald trump or tried to attempted to he died. You know what I'm saying? He he was willing to die. That when I say probably like I'm talking about people that's willing to die behind behind this. Like me, as much as I may dislike Biden, I'm not willing to go out my way to try to try to attempt to assassinate him and die behind it. I'm 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 sorry. I, I'm just not I'm not that I'm not that crazy. But for people to come out and say, oh, Trump staged this, where did the blood come from? What do you mean, bro? When Trump he he did like he was like this, and when he went down. It, like I'm just saying, if you like you you like ah it, you, like you know what I'm saying you went down and touched his face, bro. Come on, bro. Like I mean, bro. Let's be realistic here. You saying oh Trump stays like how can how can somebody stay something like this, bro? You know the Secret Service they did a terrible job. That's number one. I don't think Trump is like I I don't think Trump would do anything like this to say I'm stronger than like that's stupid, bro. That's stupid. We we if you have any type of common sense, we already can see that Trump is more fit for president than Don, I mean than um Biden. Like I mean, if you have any type of common sense, Biden's biggest enemy is the stairs. I mean, the man can barely get up the stairs, and you telling me that oh Donald Trump has to prove that he's stronger than Biden? We already know that if Donald Trump can walk up a flight of stairs without falling, if he can be if he could come to work 
and ready to serve this country, we know that, okay, Donald Trump is a better fit president. But, I, I mean, bro, seriously, I mean, come on, bro. Like, y'all have no type of common sense, literally, bro. I'm going to finish it because, bro, it's a lot of more clips in here about the liberal media going off on Donald Trump after this assassination attempt. This is crazy. It only increases the risk of accidents. This fact alone ruins her argument, showing it not to be only baseless, but also poorly considered because a fireman died. Now, suggesting that Trump would stage his own shooting is not completely far-fetched, but Trump has always been a polarizing figure, and while his tactics can be unconventional, risking his life to make a point does seem absurd. The notion disregards basic common sense and the complexity of real-world scenarios. Another point that makes Amanda's argument seem even more insane is the fact that Trump doesn't need to do anything to make Biden look fragile. Thank the sitting you. president can already do that on his own. You think he would have stood up after- I promise I didn't see this video before this, but bro, that that's what I'm saying. Come on, man. For that, the entire world saw how the man performed during the CNN debate, and a majority of us are wishing for him to retire and enjoy his life instead of running for the toughest job in the world. But I guess there's too much to comprehend for her ideologically driven mind. Another pair of celebrities that made terrible comments about this situation, none other than Jack Black and his bandmate Kyle Gass. Watch what they said in the next clip. <laughs> Trump next time. <laughs> Thank you. Remember Corey Comprator? Oh yeah, he's the fireman who actually died as they're making these callous jokes. And if this was the other way around, the MSM would be so quick to respond with condemnation campaigns. There would be calls to cancel the perpetrator and efforts to potentially ruin their life. This disparity in reaction proves a troubling double standard in how political violence is perceived and reported. It is so disappointing to see this much disrespect for a fellow human being's life. Regardless of political affiliation, the gravity of an assassination attempt should go beyond partisan lines, prompting unified condemnation. What if it had been a family member of someone like Jack Black or Kyle Gass being shot at? or if their family was killed like the fireman who was killed. Someone needs to explain to woke Hollywood that beneath political identities, we are all humans deserving of dignity and safety. Comedian Kristen Toomey was quick to add jokes about the incident in her show. Watch what she said in the next clip. Skin to ear, you know? It's like it was right there. <laughs> and I think, I think we're gonna look back on that and go, <laughs> I'm all for dark comedy, and I do believe in protecting free speech, especially when it comes to comedic acts, and I believe in a right to say that, but it's critical to distinguish between satire and outright disrespect or incitement. In the case of Kristen, it does seem less about her character's perspective and more about her personal views being aired in her stand-up act. This blurs the line between comedy and political commentary, often resulting in further polarization of society. But I do have a reason in mind on why they might be regretting this incident. It's because Trump's chance of sweeping the entire 50 states has gone up significantly. All the failed assassination attempt has done is rally more people behind Trump since they are seeing him as a victim of an unjust and overly aggressive proposition, making his campaign stronger. Additionally, comedians and public figures hold substantial influence over public opinion. When their messages cross ethical boundaries, it can result in backlash not only against them, but also against the political causes they support. It underscores the importance of maintaining a balance between comedic expression and respectful discourse, especially in a climate as charged as today. Our old friend Jen Posaka Meat took a page from the woke rulebook and was quick to victimize her fellow journalists. Oh, watch what she had to say next. I'm crying. For anyone out yeah. there who has a platform who thinks the moment right now is to be political and attack the other party, you are feeding into the danger. You are making it more likely there's retaliation. I'm incredibly scared. I'm scared for journalists. I'm scared for people who have public platforms of all parties. And that's how people should feel. <laughs> that is just typical from Jan. I mean, we all know. It's not like we find ourselves in the situation we're in right now because of the Democrats. These people have been pushing divisive rhetoric down people's throats for a decade at least. This incident not only proves the extent to which political discourse has deteriorated, but it also goes to show that violent actions are now manifesting as a byproduct of intense partisan animosity. The left in its criticism of Trump has constantly employed harsh language framing him not just as a political opponent, but as a fundamental threat to democracy and societal norms. This demonization at times spilled over into the broader public consciousness, creating an environment where extreme actions can seem justified to some individuals. Additionally, the left-dominated media has also played a major role in shaping public perception. Constant negative coverage and sensationalist reporting on Trump and his supporters have contributed to a climate of fear. 
All right, so that's the end of the video right there. Okay, uh, shout out to uh, Freedom Frontline, bro. If you want to go check out the... Well, I, I watched pretty much the whole video. So if you do want to go check out his channel, definitely go check out his channel, bro. But let me let me get my two cents on this because I haven't made a video in almost three weeks. I, I seen all this take place. I seen everything happen, but I didn't really decide to make a video on this situation. But first of all, like I said, I want people to understand that I am not no hard, die hard politician. Like, personally, I believe if people put that same mindset, the, the same mindset they have into politics, if they put that same mindset into God, I promise you, this will be a better country. The, the reason why the country is the way it is now is because people, they, they, they don't serve the one true God. Like, they don't, they don't follow the morals. They don't follow the values that God has set for us, the standards and everything that we should follow. That, that is, that's just the reason why America is the way it is now. If people, if our president, which Donald Trump, he has, he has Christian morals and Christian values that he is trying to partake into America, and that's why I like him for that. That's why I decided to vote for him for that because, again, I can't vote for a president that's going against Christian values and Christian morals. Why would I want you to run a country that I want to raise my kids in where you're not even trying to keep the standards and the values and morals that's, that's just necessary to keep? It's more... It's it's deeper than just religion is deeper than that it's just common sense it's common common sense about the values and everything that we should hold and, sh and should keep in this country simple as that you know what i'm saying but this whole mocking donald trump situation and the whole mocking is that bro i don't care how much i may dislike biden i would not mock his death okay yeah i make jokes and say how he can't come up the stairs and how he's stud over but he's not dead and i don't wish death on anyone because at the end of the day this is still a human being's life why am i wishing death why am i even making dark humorous jokes about someone dying why am I even doing that? That is like, bro, that is so childish of me. And it's so inconsiderate because like he kept saying, bro, a firefighter died. It's deeper than just, oh, don't miss next time. Like, no, bro, this man shot somebody and killed somebody, bro. And y'all missing that whole entire thing. Y'all don't care about the guy who got shot and was defending his family. Y'all don't care about none of that. Y'all so worried about don't miss Trump next time. How could you even say something, bro? It shows how 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 the li how liberals and the left media really act bro it shows how their mind is just corrupted it's corrupted bro the moment they, they need to change their mindsets they need to turn to god because bro their hearts are filled with evil i'm not saying every liberal every leftist i'm not saying every leftist is filled with evil but majority of them filled with evil bro i could never sit there and mock the 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 left uh, if a politician from the left dies and, and I can never sit there and mock that, bro. I'm sorry. That's still someone's life, bro. You have a cross on you. You have a, you have Jesus Christ on the cross on your neck, but yet you're mocking someone death. That shows me your fruit. That shows me everything I need to know about you. You feel me? Show me everything I need to know about you. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. The man almost died, bro. He was an inch away. If he turned his head one inch, it would have went straight. Bro, we wouldn't have a good president, bro. We would have been over. America would have been doomed doomed because we have someone who is actually here to try to make america better again is he the best the, the best the greatest president of all time he may not be the greatest and because again he's not perfect he has his mistakes but at the end of the day who 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 can we say perfect who can we say we who can we truly say was a true perfect president i swear if i hear a black person say obama you're dumb you're dumb you're mentally ill simple you're mentally ill we haven't had a great president of, of the best of but the best like we haven't had that bro because no one's perfect everyone's still learning everyone's still got everyone's still trying to be led in this life no matter how old you are but the moment we have a president that's actually trying to be led by god and allow god to lead him into this presidency and allow god to lead him to helping him lead this country into becoming a better place that's th that's who we should strive to vote for bro i'm just saying that's just how i look at it you know what i'm saying i'm here for truth i'm not here for the, all the politics and all. i'm here for the truth if i see a president that's here and all about truth that's what i stand for if i see a a, a faith a faith-based a religion that's that's about the true god which i follow christianity i follow jesus christ I, I believe that's the one truth like that's what i believe because i'm here for truth i did studies i did things i looked at donald trump i did these things and i believe he is the true one president that we should vote for simple as that if you don't go with it you don't go with it that's on you but man i'm here for a better country i'm here for better a better future for my kids i don't have kids yet but by, if donald trump become president Trust me, I'm going to have kids some way, somehow. I don't know. You feel me? But anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Being your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all.
I'm going to try to keep, I'm going to try to stay consistent, bro. I'm going to try to stay consistent, but subscribe to the channel, man. Y'all don't want to miss out on the crazy amount of videos that I post, the crazy videos, the crazy topics that I come across. So hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, be your boy, the pen. I love for each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.